Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a slope graph. A slope graph is a chart that was conceptualized by Edward Tufte. And basically what it does is it charts a before and after scenario. You know, if you really look at it, it is a line chart. And in our example here, I'm charting the population growth of five countries from 1964 to 2014, 50 years. So we have our starting point here and our ending point here in 2014 for China and with the same thing with India down here. Let me go ahead and make this chart a little bit easier to look at. I'm going to reduce the ribbon size here, minimize this, and also probably reduce the size here so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. So this is the concept behind a slope chart. So from 1964 to 2014, we have this growth rate for these five countries. And we have our labels here for each of the lines. So let me show you how to create this. First off, let me go ahead and copy this table here. Let me do select that, control C to copy. Let me bring it over to sheet two here and control V to paste. Let me go ahead and double click that to auto fit that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and unminimize the ribbon here so I can get my icons. So what we want to do is create a line chart from this table. So after I selected this table, you can see the table is selected already. Go ahead and insert a line chart. So I'm going to insert just a plain 2D line chart and it's going to put it here. Let me go ahead and move it up a little bit. And with this line chart, we're going to do some formatting. Uh, first off, you'd notice that the axis, the axes are a little bit uh, different than the data that was selected. So I'm going to select and switch the row and column. I want actually the series to be the different countries, not the years. So I'm gonna go ahead and click switch row column. It's gonna bring the different lines for the different countries. Now I also want to change the axes. Now you notice that it says one and two. What I really want here is to have the year, 1964 and 2014. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into, go into select data and under here, I'm gonna edit. So I'm gonna click edit, and for my label range, I'm just gonna go and select from B1 to C1, these two cells. And that's going to give me the label here. Click OK, and click OK, and now we have the beginnings of the slope graph. So what I wanna do is get rid of this axis. So I'm gonna go and select that, and right click, and go ahead and do format axis. Let me move this over here. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of any and anything that has to do with this axis so it kind of disappears. So I don't want the tick marks. I'm going to click no, none, this one, none. I don't want, I don't need axis labels near it. I'm going to click none. And what I want to do is for this line here, I want that to disappear. So I'm going to click on the line color and select no line. Click OK and you'll see that that line has disappeared. Also, I don't want these grid lines. I'm gonna select the grid lines. So you can see I select it and just press delete. And in addition, I do not want this legend. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that legend, click the legend and just press delete. So with these, this axis here, the horizontal axis, I also wanna do some formatting for this. So I wanna make these look like this one, whoops. I want to make it I want to make these labels at the end so let me go ahead and go back here and format that so I just click on the axis right click and go into format axis so here I want to have the axis label I want to have the position axis I want to have it on the tick marks so after, after I click that you'll notice that it's there now let me go ahead and close this and you'll see that the tick marks the the, the label here is right here near the tick marks and so what I want to do is also add the labels for each of these line series. So I'll click that, right click, and go under add data labels, and you'll see that we have uh, the data labels for China, 696 here, and 1356 here. So I'll go ahead and add it for the other ones, right click, add data labels, right click, add data labels, and let's see, this one should be Indonesia, Add the data labels and Brazil. Brazil's kind of low here. Let me uh, get that. Add data labels. 
Okay, it looks like it had an extra, it added the, I, I think I selected, it added this one here, the country and area, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So I can go under select data, and here, country area, it added it as part of the, the chart. So I'm just go ahead and remove that, so that's gone. Click OK, you can see now it's gone. It should just have five lines, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra information to the label here. I'm gonna right click that, go into format data labels and add the series name so that's going to give us for each of the lines the country name so I'm going to close that so now I'm going to add the other series into these I'm go ahead and go into format data labels and click series name and I actually I don't really have to close this window to go to each one I can just select it I can just select it here and add series name you can see that it's getting a little messy here. Let me go and move this over and click here and add series name. Click that and add series name. And that last one here, let's see if I can click that. Let me move that over. Click Indonesia here. And if you find it difficult, you can actually go under the um, layout and just kind of point to it. I think it was Indonesia. I'm missing for that one. Let's see. Let's go to Indonesia. Indonesia data labels, and click series name. That should be it. that should be it. Go ahead and close, and you can see that it's a little bit congested here. I mean, things are a little crowded here. So what I can do is I can increase the size here. So let me go ahead and bring this view down a little bit, and just bring the size. Just increase the size here. And now I've got a little bit more room to work with and I can just decrease this plot size here, the chart size here a little bit and then I can now move, start to move these individual labels to make it a little bit more presentable. Right? Move China over here, move this one up here, this one down here, and, oops that didn't work, move this one over here and the United States over here, whoops. And this one over here. So you notice that maybe we can also just decrease the font sizes for each one of these. If I just if I click on there and I go right click and I can decrease the font size to maybe eight and I can click that and I've pressed F4 it's gonna repeat the last action you can click on that press F4 click on that press F4 and the same here F4 and so I've just decreased the font sizes to make it a little bit more presentable and move that around and here we go here is our slope graph and let me go ahead and just make it a little bit smaller so we can increase it so this, this concept of uh, a slope graph making it easier to look at data from a before and after type of scenario is I believe what Edward Tufte kind of conceptualized when he thought about creating this. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.